Hello everyone. Welcome back to lab 15 on operating system lab. Today we are going to start with inter-process communication. We will discuss three different methods of achieving inter-process communication. But in this lab we are going to cover the P open function only. So we are going to learn how to pass on the messages between processes using the P open function. Now inter-process communication means that there will be two processes. So one of them will be sending the data and the other one will be receiving the data. Now what P open does, P open is a function which opens a pipe stream to or from a process. This means that you can either send the data to another process or you can receive data from another process. Now let us suppose that there is a process and it wants to communicate with another process. Now the process on the left hand side can either send the data to the process. This means that this process will use P open in such a method that it sends the data to a process. Okay. But if it wants to receive the data, then it will use P open in such a way that it receives the data from a process. So there are two things. One is you can use P open to send the data to a process or you can use P open to receive data from a process. Now important point to remember here is that the P open function it opens a pipe stream which is unidirectional. That's why we can only either send the data to a process or receive a data from a process. Because this is a unidirectional pipe. Hai, तो हम या तो डेटा सेंड कर सकते हैं या फिर रिसीव कर सकते हैं तो अगर मुझे दोनों करने हैं तो मुझे दो बार पी ओपन का यूज करना पड़ेगा सो इफ यू वांट टू सेंड एज वेल एज रिसीव द डेटा सो यू नीड टू ओपन टू पाइप्स वन इन द रीड मोड एंड अदर इन द राइट मोड सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न बोथ दिस हाउ टू सेंड द डेटा एंड हाउ टू रिसीव द डेटा सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट्स फर्स्ट डिस्कस द सिंटैक्स फॉर पी ओपन you must open the manual page as I have told you already many times. All the detail regarding the function is there in the manual page for P open. So I will show you that also. So let's discuss the syntax first. As usual it will require some header file so need not to remember. It will be there in the manual page. In this case the header file is stdio.h. Now the P open function takes two parameters. The first parameter is the process with which you want to communicate. The second parameter specifies whether you are going to send the data or you are going to receive the data. So in the second parameter you will write either W for writing and R for reading. So we will use W when we want to send the data, when we want to write the data into another process. We will use R read when we want to receive the data means when you want to read the data from some other process. So to open the manual page you can use the command command man p open. So you can see that the p open function opens a pipe stream to or from a process. So the corresponding function to close the pipe will be p close. So once you have opened the file at the end you can use p close to close that file. Now if the popen function is successful it is going to do what it is going to open a file stream. So that's why the return type is file. So when popen is successful or once you run popen it opens it establishes a pipe between your current process and the process that you have mentioned as the first argument. So okay so your the program that you are running will be one of the processes and the second process you will have to specify in the first argument. So once you use P open it will create a pipe between these two processes. Okay now let us go to the first program and see how it works. So here is our first program. In this program we are going to open the pipe in write mode. This means that I am going to send some data from this particular process this particular code to another process. Okay, so I am going to open the pipe in the write mode. Now look at this P open. The first parameter is the name of the process to whom you want to send the data. 
So my process in this case is WC command. Minus C I have used the option because I want to print the number of characters that WC will receive. So what my program will do is that this particular program is going to send some characters to WC. Then WC is going to count them and print the result on the screen. All right. Since I'm going to send the data, so the second parameter is W. Now remember that popen returns a file stream. So this means this variable should be of the type file. All right. Why this is of the type file? Because popen on success returns a file stream. Now since this program is going to send the data, so I need to specify what data I want to send. Now. To store that data, we have declared a variable buffer whose size is 50. So I want to send a maximum of 50 characters. Now what that data is, so I'm using sprintf to write the data into this buffer. So whatever I want to send, I need to store it in the buffer. How I'm going to store it in the buffer, I'm going to use the sprintf function. So sprintf function takes two parameters, the name of the buffer or means where you want to store the data and the data itself. Now I have everything ready. Popen will create a pipe between this particular process and WC. Since I'm going to send the data, so the second parameter is W. Now whatever I want to send, I'm saving it in a buffer. So I'm using sprintf to write that data into the buffer. Now the only thing left is to start sending. So I will send the data into this file stream using fwrite. fwrite function takes four parameters. First one is what you want to send. So whatever I want to send is in the buffer. So the first parameter is buffer. Second, how you want to send. So I'm sending one by one. So one character at a time. So size of character. So size of character is one. How much you want to send whatever is in the buffer. So string length buffer and where you want to send the name of the file stream that is RD. Okay. So I will explain this once again. F right. Kya send karna hai mujhe. So over a buffer mein likha hua hai. Kaise send karna hai. Ek ek character karke send karna hai. Third is kitna send karna hai. So whatever is the length. Is liye maine function use ke liye string length. Whatever is the length of the buffer. वो सारा सेंड करना है कहां सेंड करना है इन द फाइल स्ट्रीम आर डी सो नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू सेंड द एंटायर डेटा डेटा क्या है मेरा नेम फर्स्ट नाउ ऑन द सेकंड एंड ऑफ द स्ट्रीम इज द डब्ल्यू सी प्रोसेस तो एफ राइट के लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पे लेटर सपोज जो सेंड कर रहा है वो कौन सा है दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस सो आईपीसी 1.c तो आईपीसी 1.c ये है इसके लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पे है और दूसरे साइड पे क्या है इसके डब्ल्यू सी माइनस सी ओके जस्ट अटिपेक्शन सो वट इज हैपनिंग इज दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस आई पी सी वन डॉट सी इज मेकिंग यूज ऑफ दिस पाइप टू सेंड नेम फर्स्ट ये डेटा है नेम फर्स्ट टू डब्ल्यू सी माइनस सी ठीक है जी नाउ आई एम नॉट प्रिंटिंग एनीथिंग ऑन दिस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस बट इफ माई बोथ प्रोसेस आर रनिंग Okay, so what is the use of WC? WC is it prints the number of characters, lines, and words. But since I'm using the minus C option, so WC prints only the characters. So the output on your screen should be the number of characters, whatever WC has received. What has WC re received? Name, space, first. So four characters for name, then space, and then first. So the output should be ten. I'm not printing anything with this program. Whatever will be on your screen will be from the other process, which is WC. So this is the entire code. I have deleted a couple of header files because they were not required at all. So you can just modify that. Exact same code I have written here. Okay. File stream buffer. Copy the data into the buffer using sprintf. Open the pipe using popen. Name of the process. The mode. So since I want to send, so write mode, f write, where is the data in the buffer, one by one, total of the buffer length into the file stream rd, and then close. Now if I compile this, ipc1.c, 
run it look the answer is 10 okay so who is printing this this is 10 is printed by wc process if i change the data let us suppose if i write name here first okay so now i have added a few more characters now if i compile it again run it so you see the answer is different now 15 okay my particular program does not contain anything like this okay so whatever this program is sending to wc wc is printing that result on the screen even if you see if i change this wc and i write here minus w which prints the number of words so i'm this time sending three words compile it again three is the answer all right so this is how to send data from one process to another process now the exact opposite is if i want to receive so if i want to write a program or a process which receives data from another process then what will be done so i will write another program so the program is almost similar it will be slight change now since i want to receive data make sure that whatever process you specify as the first argument is something that produces some data so that this can this process can receive that so here i am using ls so remember that ls does what ls prints the list of directory content on the screen so it is a process which generates some data okay so this is an important point to remember don't write here wc because wc is a process which needs data to give some output okay but ls by default gives you an output you need not to give any data to that so here i am using ls as an example so that i receive whatever is the output of the ls command and the second parameter will be read because this particular process my program is going to read the data of the ls output so again p open will establish a file stream between the two processes okay and since i am going to receive the data so we will use f read this time in the last program we used f write because we wanted to send the data but this time we are going to use f read because we want to receive the data so again four parameters first one where we will store the data that is received how i am going to receive it how much I am going to receive and what is the name of the file stream. Okay. Now once you have the data, then I am going to print it on the screen. So I am using the write system call. Print where on the screen from the buffer. How much? 20. Because I have read 20. So I am printing 20. This printf is just to give a, a new line, add a new line to the output so that the output is more readable. Okay. Once again, p open. First parameter is the name of the process which we have data receive karna hai. And second parameter is read because we have data is bar receive karna hai kisi or process se. File stream open ho gai. Kyunki maine data read karna hai. So I am using f read. Kahaan pe read karunga? Save kahaan karunga? Buffer mein. Ek ek karke read karunga. Total 20 read honge. Aur wo file stream ka naam kya hai? Rd. जब डेटा आ गया हमारे पास बफर में, सो हमने प्रिंट करना है स्क्रीन के ऊपर, सो हम यूजिंग दी राइट सिस्टम कॉल, कहाँ प्रिंट करना है ऑन दी स्क्रीन, सो दैट्स व्हाई फाइल स्क्रिप्टर इज़ वन, कहाँ से प्रिंट करना है बफर में से, कितना प्रिंट करना है ट्वेंटी, सो लेट अस कंपाइल, आई मिस दी हेडर फाइल, and you can see the first 20 characters of the ls output this is the ls output so you can see first 20 characters include the space okay don't simply count 1 1 2 3 1 2 3 new line character will also be included so that is a total of 20 now if i increase the size here so rather than reading just 20 if i read let us suppose 40 so i will print also 40 on the screen now if we recompile, run it, you can see more number of entries are there. Alright. 
so what we have done we have connected the pipe between this particular process my program and the ls and we have read the output of ls within this program and then printed it on the screen you can visit this given link for program code five questions and some practice problems keep watching dex tutor and please subscribe and share Thank you.